So welcome back. I'm Alan Jay and welcome to Lincoln Central with your 13th amazing trick tutorial in the Basic Tricks series. In this tutorial we'll be visualizing what the tangent ratio is and doing some simple problems. So what is the tangent of an angle? Remember if theta is an angle in a right angle triangle we can describe the angle from the ratio of the sides. Sides are named opposite, adjacent and hypotenuse like so. Then the tangent of an angle is the ratio of its opposite side to the adjacent side. Tan theta equals opposite divided by adjacent. Or put in an abbreviated form, tan theta equals ops over adj. Here is a graph showing how tan theta varies against the angle theta in degrees. For very small angles, this ratio tends towards zero. For angles approaching 90 degrees, the ratio tends towards infinity, and the curve is one of increasing gradient. Similar to before, there are three angles that have important values. The angles are 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. Down the side, those numbers don't look particularly easy to remember, do they? Well, there is a way to actually work them out. Let's look at the 30 degree and 60 degree angles first. These angles reside in a special right angle triangle, the sides 1, root 3, and 2. You can see by using Pythagoras how the numbers work. 1 squared plus root 3 squared equals 2 squared. In other words, 1 plus 3 equals 4. Now to the angles. Tan 30 degrees equals 1 over root 3, which is 1 divided by 1.73 to 1, or 0 0.5774. Tan 60 degrees equals root 3 divided by 1, which gives 1.7321. Now let's look at the 45 degree angle. These angles, there are two of them, reside in a special right angle triangle, this time with sides 1, root 2 and 1. You can see by using Pythagoras how the numbers work. 1 squared plus 1 squared equals root 2 squared. In other words, 1 plus 1 equals 2. And sort of that 45 degree angle, this is so simple and easy to remember. Tan 45 degrees equals 1. These two triangles with sides 1, 2, root 3 and 1, 1, root 2 are really useful and they often crop up in trick work, so learn them. Like the sine and cosine ratios before, basically there are three types of problem. For each I'll work through an example. In the first type, you are given the angle and the adjacent side and required to work out the opposite side. So here we go. Example number one. A right angle triangle contains a 43 degree angle with the adjacent side measuring 12.6 centimeters. Calculate the length of the opposite side. The first thing to do is to analyze the information given by writing it out in one line. Theta equals 43 degrees. Adjacent side equals 12.6 centimeters. The opposite side equals, well let's label it as the unknown x and put a reminder that the answer is to two decimal places. First write out the tangent ratio, putting a 1 under the tan theta. So we have tan theta over 1 equals opposite divided by adjacent. Repeating this, putting in the values of theta and the adjacent side, we have tan 43 degrees divided by 1 equals x over 12.6. Now cross multiplying top left by bottom right equals top right by bottom left. We have x equals 12.6 tan 43 degrees, which equals 12.6 times 0 0.9325, which equals 11.7495. Therefore, our answer, opposite side x equals 11.75 centimeters to two decimal places. Now let's look at the second type. Here you are given the angle and the opposite side and required to work out the adjacent side. A right angle triangle contains a 27 degree angle with the opposite side measuring 18.8 centimeters. Calculate the length of the adjacent side. So writing this all out in a line, theta equals 27 degrees, opposite side equals 18.8 centimeters. The adjacent side, well let's make that y and the answer is to two decimal places. First we write out the tangent ratio putting a 1 under the tan theta. So we have tan theta of 1 equals opposite divided by adjacent. 
Repeating this, putting in the values for theta and the opposite side, we have tan 27 degrees over 1 equals 18.8 .8 divided by y. Now cross multiplying, top left by bottom right equals top right by bottom left. So we have y tan 27 degrees equals 18.8 .8 divided in both sides by tan 27 degrees to make y the subject. We have y equals 18.8 .8 divided by tan 27 degrees which equals 18.8 .8 divided by 0 0.5095 which gives y is equal to 36.8989 centimetres. Therefore the address inside y to two decimal places is equal to 36.90 centimetres. Now for the third type of problem. Here you are given the opposite side and the adjacent side and required to work out the angle. So here we are, example 3. A right angle triangle contains an angle theta with its adjacent side measuring 13.2 centimetres and the opposite side measuring 16.1 centimetres. Calculate the angle theta. Putting the information in a line, the adjacent side equals 13.2 centimetres, the opposite side equals 16.1 centimetres. Angle theta, remember the answer is to two decimal places. First we write out the tangent ratio. Tan theta equals opposite divided by adjacent. Repeating this, putting in the values for the opposite and the adjacent side, we have tan theta equals 16.1 divided by 13.2 which equals 1.2197. Punch the tan minus 1 function on your calculator and enter 1.2197. Press the equals sign and we have theta equals 50.6525 degrees. Therefore to two decimal places, theta equals 50.65 degrees. And that's all folks. The next tutorial will examine the sine rule with plenty of worked examples to help you get the hang of it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss the latest vid. See you soon.